Is your pit boss flat top grill struggling to cook evenly? You're definitely not alone. In this video, I'm going to help you how to figure out if it's time for a griddle plate replacement by pointing out the key signs like uneven cooking, scratches, and rust. I'm going to walk you through the entire replacement process step by step. I'll cover the essential tools that you need and share tips for troubleshooting common issues. Oh, and stick around for a hilarious mix up I had along the way. Plus, if your grill is still under warranty, I'll show you how to easily contact customer service for that replacement. Let's get your griddle back into top shape. Before we dive into replacing your griddle plate, let's address some key questions every pit boss owner should think about. First off, how do you know it's time for a new griddle plate? Look out for these signs, rust or corrosion on the surface, uneven cooking or cold spots, food sticking even after a thorough cleaning, deep scratches. And if you're still unsure, take a closer look at your griddle's surface. Is it warped, uneven, or has it lost its non-stick magic? If any of these ring a bell, it's probably time to swap it out for a new one. Now, if you think you're due for a replacement, don't forget about Pit Boss's five-year warranty. It's super simple to use. Just give them a call, answer a few quick questions, and they'll even set up a video chat to help assess the issue. And trust me, it's a pretty painless process. Just keep in mind that the replacement might take a few weeks to arrive, so be patient. It's totally worth it since you're getting it at no extra cost. Now, let's talk about the tools you need for this job. You definitely don't want to stop midway to search for something you forgot. Make sure you have an adjustable wrench and a scraper handy. Having everything ready up front will save you a ton of hassle. And don't forget a little cooking oil and some paper towels. They'll make post-replacement mean as a breeze. Whether you have a 3-burner Pit Boss Sierra or a 5-burner Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle, replacing the flat top is pretty much the same. First things first, make sure your grill is completely off and it has cooled down. You definitely don't want to risk burning those fingers. As a safety precaution, always remember to disconnect the propane tank before you start. You do this just in case you need to move the grill around or access it from the other side. Next, locate the screws or the post holding the griddle in place. They might even be in different spots, depending on your model. On the Pit Boss Sierra, there are four posts, one at each corner. Once you found them, simply lift to remove the flat top. And just a heads up, if you have a five burner model, those plates can be pretty heavy, so it's a good idea to have a buddy around. Installing the new griddle is pretty straightforward. Place it into position, making sure to center it and hit line up those posts. One thing I noticed when I unboxed the new griddle was that it only came with the griddle plate. There wasn't any posts. So I had to remove the posts from the original and attach them to the new one. Not a big deal, but that's why you want to have a wrench handy. And now for a little story time. Originally, Pit Boss sent me the wrong griddle top replacement. They accidentally sent me the one meant for the five burner griddle, which is six inches longer than my three burner Pit Boss Sierra. No worries though, I reached out to Pit Boss customer support and they quickly sent out the correct sized one. So this is actually day two of me replacing the griddle plate. Let's move on to the first use in seasoning the griddle. Since the Pit Boss griddle has a ceramic nonstick coating, there isn't much seasoning that is needed. However, I would recommend a good cleaning. Start by wiping any manufacturing oil off the griddle with a dry paper towel. Then take a spray bottle with some soapy water and spray it onto the surface. Scrub it down with a non-metal scrub pad or paper towel, then rinse with some warm water. And then dry it off. Now that you've inserted the new griddle plate, it's time for its first use. Start by firing up your pit boss and setting it to high heat. You might notice some smoke coming from the underside of the flat top. And that's completely normal. It's just some of the manufacturing material burning off, so no need to worry. I like to let it cook off for about 15 minutes. Once that smoke has subsided, it's time to season your griddle. Apply a thin layer of cooking oil to the surface and let it heat up for a few minutes. This simple step will help protect your griddle from rust and corrosion during storage. And you only need to do this once. I bet that you still have some questions, so let's dive into a few common ones. Like, how do I maintain my griddle after the replacement? The answer is, it's easy. After each use, just wipe down the surface with a paper towel to remove any food residue. For a deep clean, grab a non-metal scrub pad 
in some soapy water, rinse thoroughly, and dry it off. And don't forget to add a thin layer of cooking oil afterward to keep the rust at bay. How often should I season my griddle? You'll only need to season it before the first use, and then whenever you notice the food starting to stick. A quick layer of oil and some heat is all it takes to keep it in great shape. What should I do if my griddle starts to rust? If you spot some rust, simply scrub it off with a non-metals pad and some soapy water. Dry it thoroughly and apply a protective layer of oil. If it's too far gone, it might be time for a new plate. Can I use metal utensils on my griddle? I wouldn't recommend it. Stick to silicone or wooden utensils to keep your griddles scratch free. Now that your griddle is ready to roll, let's put it to the test. Cooking hamburgers is a fantastic way to break in that new flat top. All you gotta do is preheat the griddle to medium high heat, shape your ground beef into patties and season them with salt and pepper. Cook it for about four to five minutes per side until they're perfectly seared. Wanna turn them into cheeseburgers? Just add your cheese in the last minute of cooking for that perfect melt. Serve on some toasted buns with your favorite toppings for an unbeatable burger experience. You're gonna be amazed at how much easier cooking gets with your new griddle. Food will slide off effortlessly, clean up a little bit of breeze, and you're gonna be getting some perfect sears. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more tips and delicious recipes. And be sure to check out my next video where I'll show you how to whip up the best Oklahoma onion burgers using this griddle. You're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss that one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.